So today we're heading out to Triathlon Lab in Redondo Beach. It's one of SoCal's premier Institute of Speed locations to talk to Lloyd Taylor and pro athlete Chris Foster. Hi, my name is Lloyd Taylor and I'm the owner of Trocket Lab. Today you're visiting Trocket Lab in Redonda Beach. Today we're going to walk you through several of the profile design aero bar options. We're going to talk about some of the features from the entry level to the advanced uh, aero bar and some of the adjustments. We're also going to show you some of the base bars, so come on, follow me. I think this is our, one of our number one bars that we've done. This is called the Profile T2. This probably has the most adjustable uh, features that we've you know, that we would subscribe to a triathlete. Uh, S-band design, uh, this can go with bar ends. Internal cable routing, um, you've got uh, new uh, uh, ports that come out to, at the exterior of this so you can run your internal cable routing and it's really, really clean, so that's a nice new feature. This is the carbon version of the T2 that I just showed you and they've improved several features of this one. It is a lightweight bar, it is a carbon, carbon wrap bar, so there is an exoskeleton carbon feature on this and uh, this actually has uh, the improved uh, forearm rest, which I like. There's a lot of stability in this. Also a really nice feature in that uh, it allows us to loosen the clamp in the uh, back uh, without having to take apart the, uh, the, the uh, forearm clamp assembly to make some adjustments to it. And there's lots of other options uh, that you can go with, but uh, you know we can cover some of those in just a little bit. So we're talking about uh, stack and reach. Uh, you covered that a little bit. How is that uh, determined on bike? Can you explain that a little bit more? Uh, well, sure. So uh, basically, every bike is designed essentially on an X and Y coordinate, and uh, stack is uh, based on uh, the uh, head tube uh, main head tube height, and the uh, reach is based on the uh, uh, entire cockpit. And so what we'll do is uh, we'll measure uh, riders' uh, upper torso. Um, uh, for this, we actually can use the uh, exit fit cycle to measure stack and reach or we can use a tape measure and we can actually just grab like one or two bikes that are approximately close. All right, All right so uh, I think one of the neat features about this bar is the, uh, the sack height adjustability. Uh, Chris doesn't need as much uh, as most of the guys, as you can see from his saddle, his dock here, he's looking at about probably nine feet to nine centimeters. Yep. And I think the best thing about this bar design is the fact that you can change the spacing system right here. And you're keeping your forearm with your shifters, with the S-Band. Everything is in the right spot. So how's everything felt on the front end since uh, you got it? You've got just the uh, 20 millimeter spacer down there, so you found that that's the right position right here as far as the right height for you. I want to measure this uh, this uh, uh, your knee flexion, and I want to check the angle that you're at right now. I know you just made a saddle change. Uh, and we want to make sure that we're compensating for the correct saddle height from the center rail and the top of the saddle measurement. So, so do me a favor and pedal about three or four pedal strokes. And then when I ask you, I want to have you stop and you move your ankle high here. So, so uh, before when I measure, usually I like to get two, maybe three measurements. Oftentimes I like to do this too after you've ridden this trainer for about three to five minutes to warm up your legs too. Because you'll get a little bit more flexible and spend a little more time with it. So now you're in the green and you're in the zone. So basically a pro athlete like you with as much flexibility as you've got, you're already pushing the boundaries of that area. So, but uh, we don't want you to go out of it. So I think this is gonna be much better, especially on the uh, hamstring, so. 